Now, I think he is joining here. Yes! Can you see Rick? Rick? How are you? Hello! Let's start. Let's see Rick right here. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Hello to you guys. Hello, Hello Rick. Oh, uh, there Hello. I see someone. Do you see the oh, people? Rick. I see a few people as they pop on. Okay, let's see. It. Then here I can see everybody and you here in the uh, right corner. So Rick, thank you so much for your presence after after a while, right? So so before I go on, uh -huh. hang on. Okay. Uh, now I can see some people. Okay. okay. Now I can. Great. I'm just trying to figure out how to use this. It's uh, true, okay, don't worry. <laughs> How do I get back to uh, all of the people I saw? Okay. All right, I'm back. <laughs> okay, thank you, Rick, for your presence here. Uh, we'll be a friend for a long time. It's so nice to have this chance to talk to you today. And uh, so you can talk a little bit about yourself and after people will introduce themselves to you. My name is Rick Rice. I'm from... Uh, my original hometown is Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Um, I'm a welder by trade, but I'm uh, now the supervisor of the Quality Assurance Department for Putzmeister America. Um, really love welding, as you all probably know, maybe from the posts that I occasionally put on there. I love hunting, okay. and I do like Donald mm -hmm. Trump. <laughs> <laughs> so um it's right now for me you know it's spring i just did some turkey hunting i didn't get anything which is fine i spent the time away up at my cabin up in northern wisconsin which was great i enjoyed my time off of work unfortunately now i'm back to work and <laughs> I don't know what more you want me to say. <laughs> That's it. You're going to see more. I just have a couple of questions. I mean, he, uh, just, by the way, he said he likes uh, uh, Donald Trump, but he loves Obama, okay? Much more. I, I'm sure about it. <laughs> let's see. Oh, let's just uh, have some more people here joining us. All right. And now let's get started here. And then. Uh, you know, Clayton, talk a little bit about yourself. Okay, hello, Ricky, good evening. My name is Clayton. Uh, I am 32 years. I have been studying, as I do, almost two years. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm married. I work at the Sutter. Sutter is a paper factory in Brazil. I am in a splinter there, and that's it. Very good. You. And then you have more people. Can you see? You have a lot of people here Rick, to talk to you. So on my phone right now, what I see is obviously I see myself on here. Mm -hmm. But I see you, and I see two other people. But I have to keep scrolling over. I didn't. I'm not sure who's talking, so I have to scroll on my phone oh. i tried again after we got off to, to uh -huh. upload the, download the zoom app on my wife's computer but mm -hmm. it, it wasn't working i don't know what's going on with it so i yeah. wish i had that so i could see everybody at one time because here uh, i can say you have here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen people here <laughs> 16 including the teacher here and 17 with you <laughs> So, we also have here, so let's go back here to the, this part. And I, we have here different levels of students here. They're all trying to talk to you. And then you have here uh, Gabriela, Talia. Hello, Gabriela. Hello. Hello, Talia. Hello. Hello, Hello Hafa. Hello. Hello. Hello, Tairini. Oh, your, mic your microphone is off, Talia. Uh, Talini. In the dog. <laughs> because they know you're not there, Rick. 
<laughs> okay, so, and then now I'm gonna go back here, and then Rafa, can you please introduce yourself to Ricky? Okay, hello Rick, my name is Rafaela, I'm a teacher at YesDeFru. I'm 21 years old, I've been teaching since January or February, I don't remember exactly. January. <clears throat> but that's it, um, something that I love to do and I'm learning as much as the students too. Good. Okay. That's it. Tyrini, now? Can you your name, please? Hello, my name is Tyrini. I am 28 old years. I am lawyer's teacher half. Lawyer? A lawyer. <laughs> a lawyer. <laughs> a lawyer. <laughs> I'm a lawyer. And I am an part of this uh, English class in January. 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 Yeah. 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 That's it. Very good thing. Now let's go to Carol. I see you on my screen, and then I go to the right top. Okay, Carol, please. Hello, Ricky. I, I am Carol. I am 25 years old. I and when you click on the same, everybody clicks on the same link, okay? Okay. 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 Uh, my name is Leticia. I'm 21 years old. Uh, I'm a flight attendant, but I'm not working as a flight attendant. Not, not yet, but I will, I hope. And um, I've been studying English at Yes I Do uh, for almost three years, I guess. Nice. And can I ask you? Sure, go ask the question. Uh, what was your biggest challenge in your life? Wow! <laughs> Ooh, I've had, I've had a few. <laughs> my biggest challenge in my life, I would have to say my biggest challenge in life has been being, so it's kind of tied together, but I think there's two answers to this. Being a good father to my children and a good husband to my wife. Wow. I think, you know, the challenges of, of raising children um, in the United States in this day and age, it can be tough. There's a lot of crazy things that go on in the world, in this country, and raising I have three boys and one daughter, and raising them to be good citizens of the country has been a challenge, and they are. I mean, they're all adults now. They're, they're, my youngest one has graduated from school, so he's finished with that part of his life. But they're all good kids. I mean, they turned out very well. Great. And, uh, thank you. Thank you, Leticia, for your question. Very tough question, yes. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> and, uh, uh, and then, uh, Rick, let me just go uh, a little bit in Portuguese here, okay? I'm going to ask the other because I have here uh, different levels of students. Uh, some students are beginners. I'm going to try to check if they understood in, in Portuguese, okay? And uh, let's go. Uh, I'm going to ask G Gabi. É, Tairene, Thalia, pessoal, o que, que vocês entenderam em português, mano? Né? O que, que vocês entenderam? Qual que é a pergunta da Letícia? O que, que ele respondeu? Vocês conseguem falar aí? O Fábio, o Ronaldo... Né? O desafio. Isso. O desafio que ele teve. E ele fala que o desafio dele é criar os dois filhos, os três filhos, né? São três meninos e a esposa dele. Ser um bom marido e ser um bom pai. Isso. Perfeito. Thalia, Tarine, é, Gabi, vocês entenderam alguma coisa desse tipo? O que mais vocês entenderam? Uh... Algo mais? Eu só tinha... <risos> <risos> Rick, do you still remember the phrase you, you said here when we really went to the suppliers here in Brazil and then you, after, the, after the lunch? Um... <risos> 
You know, that's funny you bring that up because that showed up on my memories uh, not real long ago, <laughs> that video on there. So I, I you got to give me a minute to think about <laughs> Do you remember any you know, really purchase? Purchase? You know what? I think uh, I remember it. Okay, let's go. Try it. I know it was. I got to think about this. Ele vai tentar lembrar uma frase em português que ele aprendeu quando ele veio aqui no Brasil, que a gente foi almoçar com os fornecedores e eu ensinei ele para depois do almoço. Vamos ver. Let's go, Rick. I think it was Obrigado Pelo Emoso. Ah! Fantástico. Você é. Você é ready to learn some more, yes? Why not? Ok, let's go. Who, who, is, who is not okay? Ronaldo, okay, go ahead. Rick, you found me? Do you see? I'm trying to find you. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Hello, Ricky. There I have you. Yes, I'm Ronaldo Castori. Uh, uh, and I have a, uh, one question for you. Do you like soccer? Play or watch? Um, so, yeah, I don't mind soccer. I, I think since I have, uh, since I've known uh, teacher Renato and a good friend of ours from Germany, I think that since the World Cup where it was Germany against Brazil and I think Germany <laughs> won, I, I think at that point I kind of learned to appreciate the game a little more than I did before. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I, I don't Very mind funny. watching <laughs> But uh, what is your favorite sport, Rick? <laughs> remember that, Renato? What? You remember that? What? That big game okay. against Germany? Uh, no, I, I can't. Oh. I can't remember. <laughs> I don't remember this. Forget about it. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, but Ricky, what is your favorite? I, I know you like hunting, but uh, what is your favorite sport? Um, American football. American football, yeah. American football. That's it. Great. And uh, let's go. And then Luciana, please introduce hello, yourself hello, and make a question. Hello, Ricky. How are you? Uh, my name is Luciano. I am 47 years old. Uh, I live in Bragança. I am two daughters. In my questions, uh, you do, uh, what did you? already eat in Brazil? Ooh. So I'm going to say with this first, uh, teacher brought me to Braganza and it's a beautiful city. I like the there oh. a lot. So what did I eat in Brazil? You know, I think my all time favorite thing. So I went to the, I don't know if I'm going to say this right. They did take me to Churiscaria? Is that how you say that? Churiscaria. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Churiscaria. I really like that. I really like that. But my all-time favorite when I was in Brazil, the one thing that I, I think I ate almost every day was rice and beans. Mm. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's, it's so different than any other rice and beans I've ever had anywhere. And it's so good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very good. Hey, nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> you too. Great. Now let's go. Uh, Tairini, please. <laughs> Hello. Uh, what's your occupation? My occupation? Um, I'm a certified welding inspector. But I'm also a welder as well. I don't weld as often anymore, really. But so I, I, my occupation is a, a certified welding inspector. Okay, uh, guys, did you understand uh, the occupation? 
Inspetor de solda, né? Inspetor de solda. Aham. Ah, qualidade de solda. É, inspetor de solda. Inspetor de solda certificado. Hum. Tem certificação. How do you say it? É, can you say your question again, Ricky? Can you please repeat? Uh, my occupation? Mm -hmm. yeah. yes. Certified welding inspector. And I can... What nível? Level. Level. What level? Level? Okay. Yes. So, in with the American Welding Society, we don't have levels there. You, you either are a certified welding inspector or you're well. not. <laughs> mm -hmm. I know... Okay, Carol. It'll be. Okay, thank you. I know. <laughs> and then, Rick, yeah. just to let you know that uh, Ronaldo, uh, he used to work for one of Putzmeister suppliers in the past. Which one? Uh, what is the name of Ronaldo? Remember? Remember the. Uh, I forgot. But still see. Yes. Oh, yeah, okay. I remember one. Remember <laughs> <laughs> you remember but still see you remember. That's it. I do. That's it. I do. That's it. Don't and, uh, exist more. Okay. But still see don't exist more. That's what I heard. I heard that they were no longer in existence. Yeah. You know? It. Yeah. Okay, very good, Tyrone. Congratulations for your question. Okay. I tell you entendeu algo? So, <laughs> that's it, okay? Relax, don't worry, because this is, a, uh, and I can tell you, when you say, guys, uh, oh, teacher, I don't understand, I, I can put myself myself in your shoes, because in the past, it was hard for me to understand. So, I am Brazilian. One day, I had no English at all, and then it's okay. If you understand now, it's just an experience for you, okay? It's not true. It's not a test. It's just a, an experience for you. Great. Next one, I go to Lucas. Let's go, Lucas. Uh, Rick, can you see me here? Yep, I see you now. Yep. Okay. Um, I know that's not a very good moment to talk about the, the COVID-19, but we all know here that you are a hunter. You like to be in the wilds, like to be with the, with the animals outside. So... Um, now that you are back in work, but not now, but before, um, were you hunting a lot? Uh, how was the preparation that you needed to, to have? Um, how, how COVID impacted your, your hunting life? To say like um, it really didn't. It didn't affect the hunting at all. Although, so the hunting that I usually do, it's in fall, our fall. So it's in September through December. Okay. So at that time when I was doing the majority of the hunting, this whole COVID thing wasn't known. Um, but I did do, I had two turkey hunting seasons this spring, one last week and one um, two weeks prior. And or anything because I'm basically going out by myself so okay. there's nobody else around me. Um, the only thing where I did have to be kind of prepared for something was when I went for my first week, I stayed at a, a hotel. I didn't have a place to stay, so I stayed at a hotel, and there I had to be um, more prepared, I guess. They okay. didn't want large. I couldn't bring a lot of people with me. Okay. The, the government, uh, the government yeah. pre pre preventing your hunt or not? Um, no, they're really not. They they encouraged people to go hunting. Yes. Mm -hmm. they, they still they still wanted people to get outdoors. They didn't. Yes, they wanted people to stay home. But they, if you had an outdoor activity like hunting or fishing, they really still encourage you to do that. Okay. Well, that's great. In those times, that's great. Great. Thank you very much, Lucas. Thank you, Lucas, for your great question. And then let's go. Next, I see here, Gabriela. Mm. Hello. 
My name is Gabriela. Uh, my question, what is the weather like today? Weather. The weather. 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 Okay, great. The weather, the weather here is not very nice today. <laughs> um, we've had a lot of rain the last two days. It's cloudy, cool out. It's not very spring-like here. It's cool and, and rainy, very wet. Mm -hmm. So uh, where are you right now, Rick? In your house in... Uh... In, in Milwaukee. Milwaukee, okay. That's it, yeah. yeah? And then, uh, Gabi, and guys, uh, entendeu, Gabi, como é que tá o tempo lá? Não entendi, não. É, ok. Vamos ver, Tarim, entendeu? Tarim tá? Ok, I got it. Ok, Tarim, como é que tá o tempo lá? Oh, microphone. Sorry. Ok. <laughs> é, só, é, ele falou que tá frio, que tá nublado. Yeah. Oh, desculpa. Ok, <laughs> yes. Um bom tempo por lá. Yeah, that's it. Very, very cool. Yes, and rainy. That's it. Awesome. And uh, Rafa, please, let's go. <clears throat> and guys, I'm, I'm, I'm taking you the names, but guys, if you have any other questions, okay, it's free, okay? Go ahead and okay. raise your hand okay. and talk, okay? It's a free conversation. This is the first one we've had with this, uh, with Rick, but I'm sure you're going to have more time to to go with just one group and then prepare. Today it's a time for you to talk with uh, an American person and a great person, by the way. So I just want to say this before you continue on real okay. quick. Okay. Is it, don't, for anybody, don't be afraid to ask questions. If I don't understand the question, I'll, I'll ask you to repeat it. I'm, I think I picked up on the accents from people from Brazil, people from Mexico, and people from Germany pretty well. I can understand you guys a lot better than you might think I can. But if, don't be afraid to ask any questions you want. I have no problem sitting here talking to you guys and answering anything you have. Great. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Pessoal, o pessoal que entendeu, é, todo mundo, a, a, talvez os, os que estão começando o menos não entenderam, mas o que ele falou é muito importante. Ajuda aí, pessoal, essa mensagem está bem clara, que ajuda demais. Isso é muito legal o que ele falou. Vamos aí. aí. Quem vai começar? Tem a mesma pergunta lá. Ele vai pedir para repetir qualquer coisa? Sim. O que mais? Isso aí. Para não ter medo de perguntar, de pra falar. Para não ter medo. Não ter medo de, de falar. Porque se ele não... Porque ele fez a dicção, nossa, ele, assim como a mexicana e principalmente as dos uhum. alemães. Uhum. Ele, ele, fala, I ele, ele consegue nos entender Exatamente, ele já pegou Porque ele tem contato comigo Fala em inglês sempre com ele Tem outro brasileiro que mora lá E o pessoal do, do grupo Então ele já está já mais familiarizado com o sotaque Então ele consegue entender Se não conseguir, ele vai falar Opa, desculpa, eu não entendi Então a questão é Esse momento é não ter medo mesmo Sabe, te quebrar Porque eu lembro que um dia eu também tive, ok? Very good, Rick. Thank you so much. This is a very encouraging message here. Who's going to be the next one? Can I? I'm here. Okay. What about, where is Lou? Lou is not here, Lou. I think. Lou! Lou prepared a dinner for the dogs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Who's the next? Go ahead. I'm going gonna, gonna to ask you. Okay. Can I, teacher? Can I go? Yeah, sure, of course. Rick, hello. Hi. I'm, hi, nice to meet you. Uh, I'm Carol. I'm 32 years old. I work uh, in a company called Max Gear. It's a metallurgical company. And my question for you is, uh, actually, I have two questions. The first one, uh, how did you and Renato know each other? Great. And the second question is, what did you like most about Brazil? Ooh, so those are good questions. Um, I met uh, Renato when he came to the United States. He came to our Putzmeister plant in... Uh, in Wisconsin. That was the first time I met him. 
and then um, I had some opportunities to come down to Mexico to work with suppliers for our Pootsmeister plant. Um, so I got to work with him pretty much every day. And that was an enjoyable time. Um, <clears throat> what I like most about Brazil, there's a lot. So I like the weather. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I, I genuinely, truly love the people in Brazil. So growing up, I had read about Brazil in school and, you know, it was kind of a South America for, for me was an unknown. I mean, I heard about Brazil and I heard about the Amazon River and the forests and everything, mm -hmm. but I, being able to go there was an incredible experience and the people in Brazil are so friendly and so open to speak with me. Um, I've gone to a lot of other countries where maybe the people were friendly but not as open to speak to me. In Brazil, Brazilians are, are fantastic people and I, I love it there. I wish I could go back. Why not? Yeah, you gotta get the not? opportunity. <laughs> yes. You know Anthony came here, right? Yeah. Yeah, it was great. Max is gonna be here. Okay? So keep the following aí, pessoal. What did he say? In a nutshell. Eu não entendi. Deixa eu ver se tá mudo. Não tá mudo. Ela perguntou como, ela, como, ele, como vocês se conheceram, isso? Só não entendi como vocês se conheceram. Acho que foi... No México, né? Foi no México. Ah, foi, foi no México. México? Isso. Foi isso, pessoal? Não. Foi no México. No México. É certo? Como é que foi, Clayton? Foi em Wisconsin, vai ser em 2007, eu acho. Ok. Rick, can you say it again? Can you say, can you answer the question about how we met? Um, yeah. So, we met during one of your visits to the mm -hmm. United States when you came to our uh, plant. Mm -hmm. And then, during the visits I had down to Brazil to, at the Putzmeister plant, you and I oh, worked Master. every day together. Uh -huh. That's it. Okay. Uh, okay. Go, uh, just in the you made Okay, mm -hmm. Carol, let's go. <laughs> É, quando você foi aos Estados Unidos, uhum. aí vocês conheceram e Exato. trabalharam juntos, uhum. e depois o Rick, ele veio até o Brasil. Prestar serviço. É. Exatamente. Então, prestar serviço para a Putzmaster, né? A Putzmaster. Nós dois trabalhávamos, eu, ele ainda trabalha, eu trabalhava <risos> na Putzmaster aqui no Brasil. Então, é, era muito comum, acho que umas duas ou três vezes, eu tinha que ir para lá para treinamento, para alguns procedimentos, e conhecer lá pela primeira vez. A gente tinha contato que era responsável pela qualidade aqui no Brasil e lá nos Estados Unidos. A gente tinha um contato diário, diário. Muito, muito diário mesmo. Very good. Great. Thank you, Carol, for your question. Now, I think I go. Where, who is Clayton? Yes, I don't try, but uh, I think he, 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 he answered. Do you like cachaça? <laughs> they like people and everything but e cachaça and samba <laughs> okay Ronaldo you say uh, what about ca cachaça do you remember cachaça Ricky? well that's I, 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 no that's not the word that I think I remember what is the, what is the word do you remember caipirinha void so I'm, I'm not sure. I, I that word doesn't ring a bell. Just that. Yeah. Caipirinha. Caipirinha. Remember this or no? Oh God, I do remember <laughs> that. <laughs> oh God. That's it. <laughs> and then, that is one of my favorites. That's it. And feijoada. Remember feijoada? That I don't. You know the black beans with the pork and parts of the pork. No, right? No, really? I don't we went, remember that. We went to a supplier, uh, I don't remember the city, and the supplier took us to a restaurant and we tried the feijoada with black beans and parts of the pork. 
Mentira. Casa do Norte. Ah, eu não sei. Você lembra, Ricky? Não lembro disso. Eu acho que você tentou isso antes. Sim. Isso foi provavelmente bom. Lembra do restaurante que você tinha o vídeo, sabe? Obrigado pelo almoço Rio em Bragança, Bragantino, no estádio. I remember the stadium. Yeah, and then the food you, you had on that day was fish water. I don't remember. I don't remember. I, you know what? Uh -huh. There's so much good food down there. I don't remember. Uh -huh. <laughs> go, go back to your pictures here in Brazil, <laughs> Google Photos, and then you're going to see that. Okay, so uh, I'll click it, but go ahead. Ask a different question. Go ahead. Okay, Rick. Uh, you say you love the, and you enjoy the Brazilian people. And you would like to come back to Brazil? I don't know the season to to work or to to vacation. And why? When? I'm sorry, when? <laughs> um, when would I like to come back to Brazil? Yes. Yeah, any, yeah. any time. I I I. So uh -huh. here's. I'll tell you what. The best time of the year for me to come back to Brazil is when it's winter time here and it's cold and we have a lot of snow on the ground. And I come down to Brazil and it's warm and it's your summertime. That's when I like to be here because what I do is take a lot of pictures and videos and I send them back to my wife and my family at home. Yeah. <laughs> me in a t shirt while they're sitting with cold winter clothes on. <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, I have a question now before another. I, I remember. What, what was the best place you visited while in Brazil? What was the best place in Brazil? <clears throat> uh, I think it was on top of that mountain. Yeah. But, yeah I, that was an in, interesting ride getting up there. But <laughs> <laughs> Can you uh, tell us some interesting uh, stories about uh, your, your presence here in Brazil? Uh, Interesting stories. Uh, funny that. stories about the dog, about the way to the top of the mountain. Well, when you so, went to uh, Pedra, uh, what is the name of Pedra Grande. Pedra Grande, yes. Pedra Grande. Yes. Yeah. Renato took us up in up the road to that mountain in this. I think it was. Yeah, it was, yeah. And. Um, Great view. That, that road. <laughs> That road was not in very good condition for sure to be driving a truck on, let alone that little car. And somehow Renato managed to beat that car up that, <laughs> that road to that mountain. But I, I think I think the thing that probably so the the, the one thing that I will it, I still think about it was when we got to the top. And you, there were other people parked up there and they were enjoying the weather and that. But you drove over the top, like the summit, and we started kind of going down. Mm -hmm. And, and I, I made you stop because I thought we were going to go over the end. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we, and when we were trying to get uh, on the top uh, on the car, my goodness, I was scared. I was scared of the car. A TM, espanta, um gol ruim, não subi, sabe, tá muito ruim, cheio de buraco, falei, rapaz, sai esse assim carro. <laughs> <laughs> ok, yeah. Uh, yes, ah, oh, that's it, that's it. Uh, Clayton, Clayton will try to test you, uh, Rick, right now. <laughs> But, and then, let me just, try, try. yeah, we're gonna try. But also, Rick, uh, what about Rio de Janeiro? Oh, God, that was, uh, so that was one of those things that I learned about growing up in Rio de Janeiro. That was a beautiful place to go, mm -hmm. going up on top of the, the, uh, Christ the Redeemer. Yeah, mm -hmm. Christ the Redeemer. That was, uh, that was, uh, something I'll never forget. And I still have yeah. the photos on my phone from that. That yes. was an incredible trip and I still thank you for taking me there. Oh, that's great. I remember Rick sent me a message. Uh, he was here in Brazil, Chibai was here and he said, Renato, I know it's uh, a little hard because Rio is so far, 
But uh, I'd like, I would so I would very much like to go to Rio. So we took the company's car, we went to Rio, spent the day there, and got back on the same day. <laughs> <risos> ah, ah, tá aí, é, tá aí, a gente foi para o Rio de Janeiro de madrugada, passou o dia lá visitando o time e voltou no mesmo dia. Ah, oh, very, my God. Yeah, very cool, it was nice. That was a fun day. It was great. And, uh, ok, now let's go. Carol, who's... Talia, did you make a question? Ok, Carol, let's go. Carol. Uh, uh, Rick, uh, what's your advice for us about our situation? Uh, in your opinion, is the best uh, option is stay at home or I don't know. So, ask me that question one more time. Okay, uh, what's your opinion about? Uh, our situation is the best option is stay at home about the coronavirus. Mm -hmm. um, so I personally, so now you just remember this is my opinion. Mm -hmm. I don't think if, I don't think everybody should have to stay home. Um, I do think we need to take precautions, wash your hands, keep them sanitized when you touch other things in a store or wherever you go. Um, I'm not a very big fan of the, the mask that you put on your face, but I do have to wear it for work. Okay. Um, I think that we should just continue on with our lives, just take some extra precautions. 